Imagine we've got a users table in a SQL database, and it looks something like this, with columns for ID number, name, city, and account balance. Let's say we want to run a query to find all of the users in New York and sort them by their account balance. Without any indexes, our database has to scan every row in the table. This example table only has 10 rows, so a full table scan like that isn't a big deal. But what if this table had 10 million rows? Running a single query like that is going to consume a lot of resources. And if this table is used by an application, it could have thousands or tens of thousands of similar queries to process within a short time span. That's going to eat up a lot of compute resources and slow down the experience of using your application. We can see this for ourselves using the explain analyze SQL command with our query. Note that in these results, we can see the query is scanning the full table and that it's a three-step process. Not very efficient. The solution to this problem is to use indexes. A SQL index is basically a sorted list with the values from one or more rows of a table plus a pointer value that tells the database where to find the rest of the data from that row. Let's create an index on the city column for our table. Now that we've created the index, we can run explain analyze again. As you can see, this is still a three-step process, but it is more efficient. We can see that the query is only searching the New York rows thanks to our index, rather than scanning through the entire table. For queries that are going to be run frequently, we can make this even more efficient by creating a multi-column index. This query requires data from both the city and balance columns, so let's create an index that includes both of them. When we analyze the results now, we can see that we've reduced it to a two-step process, and we're still only spanning the New York rows. This is a huge improvement in efficiency, and while you might not notice it in a table with 10 rows, you will definitely notice it with larger tables when you look at the compute resources your database is consuming. In our example query, we're pulling all of the data for the relevant rows. But in real life, often we might not really need the information from each column. Imagine, for example, that we just wanted to get the IDs for each New York user sorted by their account balance. When we explain analyze this query, we can see that we're down to a single step, thanks to our index and the fact that we're now pulling only the data that we actually need. Obviously, we can't create unique indexes to optimize for every possible query that might be run against our database, and there are some important caveats here. Number one, Indexes do have to be kept updated, which means that write operations have to write to any index that's impacted as well as writing to the table. If you build too many indexes and each write has to update them all in addition to the table itself, that can slow down writes. So in general, don't build too many indexes, stick to just what you need to optimize for the most common types of queries. Second, indexing on a large field will result in a larger index. For example, indexing an emails table on its body column, which might contain paragraphs of text for each row, will result in a larger index than indexing on a smaller column such as date time, which will contain fewer total characters. Where possible, avoid indexing large fields. Third, when in doubt, explain. What we've talked about in this video provides a good general guide to optimizing your SQL queries with indexes in CockroachDB and in most other SQL databases. But no single approach is going to be best for 100% of use cases. Remember that you can always use Explain Analyze to check out how a query will be executed and to test different approaches to see which one is the most efficient. Still have questions? We've also got a blog post on this topic linked in the video description. Or you can check out Cockroach University, our free online learning platform with interactive courses specifically designed to help you get the most out of your SQL database. 